Shalom, this is the brother Azana Moth back at you with another lesson. And I pray this lesson is edifying to the lamb, to the Lord's sheep. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakahak Wadash. And double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do it well. To the beloved Akium and the beloved Akwath who are listening. All right, now this video was sent to me after camp yesterday. I had went into the wickedness that sit in high places, the elite bankers, all right, the Edomites who run the world. Their end is manifest. Let's get second address nine and five. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And you'll hear this man say that their end may be coming. And he mentions the occult, which is basically just high level demons. All right, but the significance of the signs that the Lord is showing us, a lot of what this man is saying echoes what we've been saying. And I found it very interesting, also spiritual at the same time, that we're in the times of spiritual warfare, the good versus evil. All right, so through the spirit, check this out and we'll bring in some scriptures to edify the flock. And of course, eat what's good and spit the bones out because he's not in the truth. He's not a prophet, all right? But he does have some great points. So without further ado, check this out. See right here where it's got the trajectory of the spacecraft for Space Force. And I zoom in on this little logo and the point where it actually crosses on the logo. And then I put the April 8th eclipse on the screen on this side over here. So this is where the actual eclipse crossing would happen from the 2017 and the 2024 coming up in a couple of days. The actual crossing spot of that, it nearly, nearly matches absolutely identically with the Space Command logo. Right here, this image that I have behind me, this is called commonly called the Seal of Satan. You'll find this thing all over the place on a lot of different occult websites, the Seal of Satan. Now, here are your science depictions, this one here coming from, from NASA, on how an eclipse works. I'd like you to just notice how the, how the charting of the lines on this, on this science display for how an eclipse works is nearly absolutely identical to a seal of Satan, a popular seal of Satan, one of the most popular seals of Satan found on Luciferian or occult websites. So he showed a sign of Satan, which is their badge, right? You know, Luciferians, that's what they call themselves. But a real Luciferian is a light bearer, which brings the light, all right? That's on the right-handed side. But of course, the world is blinded by wickedness and adverse to righteousness. So their Luciferians on this side are the wicked. And actually, the, the eclipses themselves, and I've got three of them on the back screen right here. Here are the major ones. This is the 2017 eclipse coming this way. And here is the 2024 eclipse coming up on April 8th. The, it looks very similar to the, the Seal of Satan as well. Now, on the flip side of all of that, it quite simply looks like, it makes a configuration that's very much like the Hebrew symbols, the ancient Hebrew symbols of the Aleph and the Tav. So right here in the Aleph, of course, would be the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So like God said, I am the beginning and the end, the Aleph and the Tav. So the Aleph would be this symbol here that's going like this, looking a little bit like an A, only it would be, it would be configured sideways if it were an Aleph. And these two paths here, they make the symbol of what would be an ancient Tav. The ancient Tav is the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. It's actually a symbol of a cross. It means sign or mark. So the Lord's showing through prophecy in his signs, the end times, and the wicked witches, and the warlocks that's in the power seat, they're doing left-handed wickedness because he said, on the other hand, you see, so you have left-handed wickedness and you have right-handed righteousness. And you know Emelech is going to get involved. So they're trying to say that the Tav is the Hebrew alphabet. All right, that, that T that he just showed, which the Lord only spake Paleo-Hebrew. Okay, so again, spit the bones out. Nevertheless, 
You know, we're going to keep hitting these pointers to bring out this eclipse. That it's a sign from the heavens, from the heavenly father. But the wicked on the left-handed side are bringing in enchantments. And we've been exclaiming this. All right, starting with the elders and apostles and brothers all the way down. That the left are very cognitive when it comes to dates and signs and numbers and patterns. They're into those left-handed enchantments in that high-level left-handed witchcraft that's going to be performed tonight with this eclipse. And in fact, in Genesis 1.14, God said that he made the, made the heavenly bodies above, this would most certainly include the sun and the moon, for, for signs and for, for seasons. That's what we're coming up on. Now, this sign happens on, on April 8th. Eight is a number of, eight would be the ancient symbol of the het. It's also where we get the infinity symbol from. It's a symbol of new beginnings. So just like there were eight people on Noah's Ark, the symbol of the head, it means new beginnings. It would be Nisan the first on the on the Hebrew calendar, the ancient Hebrew calendar. Again, the start of a new beginning is what it would be. You see? So the prophecies are unfolding. Right? The Lord's prophecies are being unfolded, and the prophets are letting you know via the scriptures what's going down. So you got Sir, the Yahabashim Habashai is using the wicked. And he's showing us the signs of his coming. Here is the WEF, or better known as the World Economic Forum logo. I'd like you to notice that it actually makes an eclipse right here. And in the midst of that eclipse, Moni have pointed out that you have three, three of the O's. One, two, three. They sort of make sixes in this configuration. Now they meet up in Davos, Switzerland is where they meet at. And this guy appears to be watching the videos of the apostles and the elders and the brothers. Okay, because we mentioned that exact same sediment. The three sixes in the sign of the WEF and CERN. Very similar in location to where you have another quasi or claim science organization that calls itself, goes by the name CERN. It's got a logo, very much not only looks like a set of eclipses coming together, but also looks like a set of exactly three sixes. Just like NASA is planning to fire three rockets mm, straight up at the eclipse. And they have these portals open with CERN, all right? As he showed you in the beginning, Space Force followed that same pattern in 2017 and tonight's projected eclipse, which is that, that, that A, that A, right? He said a beginning and an end. And I'd like to point out, so, so in this image here, making a cross of the United States, perhaps for those against America, it might for them in occult belief sets or Luciferian occult belief sets, they might believe it's time for America to end now. Now, he said the end for the United States, which means when we read Revelation 14 and 8, all right, let's get that. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen that great city because she made all the nations drink the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Ancient Babylon didn't make all nations drink anything. Okay. It didn't conquer the whole world. So the scriptures say that this place will be burned with fire. It's time for America to end now. And that this X right here marks a time for America to go bye-bye. From a Christian belief set, it might mark a time of my market time that the Lord is putting his cross, the Aleph and the Tav, the beginning and the end, the sign of his cross over this United States. Many state that America is like Babylon. America is Babylon the Great. Now he may not believe that, but the Neo-Babylonian Empire, just like earlier in Babylonia, was short-lived. It was founded around 539 BC and the king of Persia, which is now Iran, Cyrus the Great, he conquered Babylon. All right, the fall of Babylon was complete when that empire came under the control of the Persians. It didn't burn to the ground. But we're coming up on an eclipse, an eclipse, a very unusual set, uh, the conclusion of a very unusual set of eclipses that makes this tough across the United States. And I'd like to talk a little about what I think that might mean. And just to throw out there for you, I think you have some heavy judgments coming. Again, 2 Thessalonians 
is about to be played out. He said heavy judgments are coming. This is music to our ears. Okay? The tab that's been built up for so long of Edomite supremacy. All the wealth and influence and mischievous acts shall be and will be rewarded double for it. Okay? Hey, the Lord said you're going to drink double, man, and vomit it right back up. So this is their end. Heavy judgments are coming. This is spiritual. What does Nahum 3 and 1 say? It says, Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. America is full of lies. And it only has one plea, guilty. So we do pray that heavy judgment comes. And after prosecution, right? America has to be prosecuted. I believe so in some of the prophecies that a man named Kim Clement gave in the time period coming up where there would be some heavy changes in the United States and you would see prosper and you would see a shaking out of darkness. So the prophecies are unfolding, right? And they're coming from Yahweh while Yahweh shy, not Kim Clement. And they have these portals open with CERN, all right? As he showed you in the beginning, we already read Second Edris 9 and 5, that the end is manifest. All right, this is Second Edris 6 and 9. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that followeth. You see? So these are the signs of Esau's world about to dissipate, and Jacob about to have our beginning. So this man is speaking truth. He's just mixing it up you know, with his Babylonian point of view, you know. But we, through the scriptures and through the Heavenly Father's discernment, we know what's going on. And we see in the signs and wonders of Yahweh Bashim Shai and not the wicked. So right here in the Aleph, of course, would be the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. So like God said, I am the beginning and the end, the Aleph and the Tav. So the Aleph would be this symbol here that's going like this, looking a little bit like an A, only it would be... It would be configured sideways if it were an Aleph. Listen, this is spiritual. As you can see, he mentioned the Hebrew alphabet. All right, the A ah, in a clear view. Last week, the Statue of Liberty, we saw the Yah in that Y. Okay? So it's almost as the Lord's about to spell out his name by the way of his signs. Okay? And events that are playing out. Wouldn't that be something unimaginable? Each event, a new letter comes out. Now, the book of Lamentations, the fourth chapter, says that our captivity is almost over. So this seal of Satan that they're showing, the wickedness that has grown is about to be put out. Okay? It says, and when the world then shall begin to vanish away, shall be finished then will I shew these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament and they shall see all together. So the world is in the midst of vanishing away. So these are the tokens that the Lord is showing us. If you pay attention to the omens, the curses, and the spells that's on the surface after this event, okay, and the blessings that will come out of it, okay, because the wicked is being revealed. They can do all the left-handed, all right, enchantments they want, but they're being revealed. I'd like to show you just a few images of the gravity of what I'm talking about here. When they did a reopening for work at the at the CERN and their, their tunneling projects there in Switzerland, they might believe it's time for America to end now, and that this X right here marks a time for America to go bye-bye. This is music to our ears. So the common denominator is what? Revelation 13, 18. Here is the wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beasts, for there is a number of a man, and his number is 603 score six. So this eclipse is lining up with prophecy. And the prophecies are speaking with the voice of many waters, because that's who's coming. Yahweh Shai. Claim Science Organization is putting forth responses stating that they are not opening a, a portal to the pit of hell, but in fact they 
They deny fully that they're opening a portal to the pit of hell, so I would note that in this video. And on the other hand, the wicked on the left are doing their miracles to combat the wrath of the Lord, as if demons they claim that they're unlocking from portals will assist them in a spiritual battle with the Heavenly Father, which is madness, because evil spirits are in command from the Most High. Right? Numbers 23 says, Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. So what they're doing on the left is being done by pride in a deep deception that's embedded in that Edomite spirit, which isn't upright in him. Right? That's why America, a.k.a. Babylon, is being brought down to its destruction. And the moon eclipse tonight is for a declaration of times, an end of times. All right? So Rock 43 and 6, I'll end with this. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. Yeah, a sign of the end. So I hope this lesson has been edifying to the elect. To the sheep of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakahakwadash, just the brother Azan Amaf, on to the next Shalomah.